Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we want to do us a little uh, test here. A little uh, hatchet from Camille's. This came in a kit with some other tools, the handsaw, a uh, little belt knife, sharpening stone. But uh, again, this was uh, another one of the little purchases that uh, I'd got solely on a very lightweight, easy to carry kit. So, and that's kind of like the part of the title that survival systems that your survival system doesn't have to be the same as mine but it's basically what you have your gear your kit to sustain your survival and everybody's is different and with me i decided to try to go the edc or, and or lightweight route uh but uh just for kicks we're going ahead and Take that to this down pine tree behind me here, and uh, we're just gonna see what it can do. See if it was worth the purchase or worth carrying. So I'll get right back to you once we get reset. Alrighty, getting back behind here was a little bit of a job. Uh, but, uh, yeah, actually, I need to go ahead and use this real quick so I can yeah, get up there. Okay, good lordy. That was a pain in the butt. All right, uh, here we go. Uh, I have no idea what kind of steel it is. I don't even remember if it was actually wrote on the packaging. So... Uh, but does let you know to wear safety glasses. So, uh, we're just going ahead and that's pretty solid. That's about inch and a half diameter, inch three quarters, maybe. Cambrian layer is pretty rotten. Get that off there and get some tougher wood and see what she'll do. There we go. That's some more proper wood there. Got some pretty good uh, texturing on the handle. That actually really does help but keep that in your hand. You know what, this thing ain't too hateful for the size of it. so bouncy tree branches everywhere Let's see if I can hit that somewhere where it won't bounce there we go 
That thing is practically petrified. Wow, that's still decently sharp. Hmm, not bad. We'll, uh, I'll get over this log and we'll find a smaller sapling here, cut it down, see how well she does with that. That's a uh, pretty good size. Definitely more than enough for a uh, shelter building. So we'll go ahead and attack that and hopefully I can keep from dropping it on the, the camera here. Not a bad angle there, but kind of beaver chilling out a little bit. That'll make it. Now I'm going to be right in the way. There we go. Get back around here. Yeah, looks like we can just push her down now. And we're stuck in another tree up there. Timber. Not bad. Not bad at all, really. So. Run now patches of hair, see if stuff shaves, but we'll try. I don't know if I got it in the focus, but yeah, it's it's still shaved hair. Still secured pretty well, no wobble. Uh, you'll see there's no gap in between the metal and the fiberglass reinforced something for a handle. Little tiny hammer pole. Not sure why it's gnarled, but it is. So, hey, uh, outperformed my expectations. So, uh, I can build a shoulder with that. You know something? That's uh, actually sharp enough. I think that would strike a fire rod. But there's only one way to find out. So I'm going to go back and grab the fire rod. Okay, here we go. How about that? See, the underside's pretty sharp, too. Yeah. Not bad at all. Now, that little uh, kit, I don't know if it exists anymore. There's one of them Christmas specials you get at Walmart. You get the multi-pack of stuff for 15, 20 bucks. The little knife it came with, I use quite a bit. It's a little uh, fixed blade knife. And I carried it at work a lot because it was, you know, some jobs you can't have a certain size knife. And it was uh, the proper size where 
it was fine to carry at work so i carried it quite a while on my belt while i was at work uh still got that knife might do a review on it here sometime soon well anyway that's the uh camillus uh more like a tomahawk than a hatchet but still not tomahawk being they don't got the right kind of eye i'm gonna call it a hatchet but uh a little bonus there uh <laughs> so pretty impressed with that uh and with that please like share and subscribe i uh, thank you all for watching the video and you have a very good day